Welcome to part nine of the Great Depression and the New Deal. Now we're going to talk about Huey Long. Not everybody was in favor of Roosevelt's New Deal ideas, right? And one big opponent, and probably the most powerful or dangerous opponent that, that Roosevelt had to the New Deal was this guy, Huey Long. Huey Long was a self-described uh, kingfish. He took that name from the Amos and Andy uh, uh, um, uh, radio show. Um, but uh, he is, how do I describe Huey Long? He owns the state of Louisiana. How about that? Yeah. And I mean that literally. He owns the state of Louisiana. He was governor of Louisiana <clears throat> for many years. And as governor, he had created his own little fiefdom, if you will. For example, if you were a state employee in Louisiana, you were required to pay, pay a tithing. 10% of your uh, paycheck went into a special slush fund that Huey Long could use for whatever he wanted. So he would use it for things like, say, if the school couldn't afford its textbooks, it would buy textbooks with it. He also used it to pay for his rather expensive entourage of bodyguards because when you wield power like this, you tend to also make very powerful enemies right? Um, he would use the National Guard of Louisiana as his, own, as his own personal army. When he moved on to become a member of the U.S. Senate, he hand-selected his own governor to replace him. And when that governor didn't uh, meet his criteria, he replaced him once again. These are just yes men, people that would just check with Huey Long to make sure that Louisiana was run the way he wanted it to, to be run. When the Louisiana State University uh, Journalism Department wrote an article that criticized Huey Long, Huey Long went to LSU and closed down their journalism department. Now, he had no authority to close it down, but when he came in and said, you're closing this down, guess what they did? They closed it down. He was very involved in LSU. Matter of fact, you would often find himself on the, on the sidelines there at LSU, right? Uh, trying to sometimes even coach uh, at one point during one LSU game, there was a lot of penalties called on LSU in the first half. When halftime hit, uh, Huey Long called the referees over to have a little conference with him during halftime. And in the second half, LSU did not have a single penalty called against them. Matter of fact, even today, one of the fight songs used by LSU today was written by Huey Long. Now, Huey Long thinks Roosevelt's got this all wrong. Right, the, the New Deal is not working, and he's got some reasons to, to back this up. Sure, initially when the New Deal was put in effect, you saw unemployment drop, the relief programs working, but then you see it to start to go right back up. By 1935, you see unemployment rates approaching the same numbers that they were in 1933 when Roosevelt took office, right? Huey Long says he has a different plan, and he's absolutely convinced that he can take the White House away from Roosevelt, even though he too is a Democrat. He even writes a book called My First Days in the White House, a book about his first hundred days. His plan is simple. It's called the Share Our Wealth Plan, whereas he puts it where every man is a king. Let's see if some of this sounds familiar, right? First of all, there's limits on the amount of money that you can have or earn. For example, if you have more than $5 million of wealth, Everything beyond that is to be liquidated and turned over to the government for redistribution. You are only allowed to make a million dollars per year. If you earn more than a million dollars a year, everything above that is taxed at 100%. Every American is guaranteed a $2,000 a year salary so that if you don't quite make it that, say you made $1,200, the government will cut you a check for the, the uh, additional $800. Every American is guaranteed a free college education. All right. Like I said, some of this probably sounds kind of uh, uh, similar to some of the political uh, uh, things floating around today. All right. So Huey Long plans to challenge Roosevelt for the presidency, but he never does. Which is strange. What happens? Well, he got dead. What happened was Carl Weiss happened. Carl Weiss is a doctor. Right? 
Um, and he really has no reason to have any animosity to, towards Huey Long until what happens to his favorite uncle. Carl Weiss's favorite uncle was a judge in Louisiana, a judge who ran afoul of Huey Long. And Huey Long was the person that, like I said, he wielded power, right? And so Huey Long didn't just um, ruin this judge. He destroyed him. He got him removed from the bench. He got him disbarred. The guy couldn't even practice law anymore. This is Carl Weiss's favorite uncle. Carl Weiss gets a sense of vengeance in him, right? Decides that he is going to, that Huey Long is going to pay for, for ruining his, his poor uncle's life. And so he gets a gun and he begins stalking Huey Long and he finds him finally on the 8th of September, 1935, inside of the uh, of the government house there in Baton Rouge. Huey Long is visiting. He's checking on his governor, making sure the governor's doing everything he's telling him to do, right? Carl Weiss comes in, pulls his gun out, and begins to shoot at Huey Long, hitting him for sure at least once in the stomach. What happens next in this narrow little hallway in the government house is a melee. Remember, Huey Long has these bodyguards around him all the time, and they're packing Thompson submachine guns. A firefight breaks out in there. Huey Long is fatally wounded, probably by Carl Weiss, but there is certain evidence that he may have been also at least nicked or grazed by friendly fire from his entourage. Carl Weiss? He shot 61 times in this little narrow hallway. He shot so many times you can use him to strain spaghetti, though I wouldn't recommend it, right? So Huey Long holds on for two more days, but on December 10th, 1935, Huey Long dies. And the only real political arrival to Franklin Roosevelt is dead. But that doesn't mean that there's others that are opposed to the New Deal and these different programs.